scale drawings. This is a digital lesson, and this is the Halloween version. This is a lot of fun for the students. They get to use the fill color feature of Google Slides in order to show their scaled up or scaled down drawings. So the lesson starts with explaining what a scale drawing is, and then it gives the students some vocabulary. So you want to go over these with the students. They're going to start on slide four. So they have a rectangle shape here, and they want to uh, change the figure by a scale factor of two. That means it's going to be increased two times. So we're going to take each of these sides, we're going to count the units, and we're going to multiply by two. So now we have a new figure that will be six by four. In order to show this, students are going to click and hold in any of the squares they want to color in. And they're going to scroll across until they have the shape that they want. I need one more here. So now we have a six by four. Once it's shaded in, then they want to come up here to the fill color feature, and they can choose any color they like. And now we have a figure that's been scaled up by a fact scale factor of two. Now we also want them to see what happens to the perimeter when they scale up or scale down. So they want to count the perimeter of the smaller unit, or the smaller rectangle, and they should get 10 units. Then they want to count the perimeter of the larger rectangle, and it should be 20 units. And you want to point out to the students that when you're scaling up, the perimeter is going to be multiplied by the scale factor. So the perimeter of the smaller figure times 2 would be 20. Now the next slide is a little bit different shape, so it's a little bit more difficult. This time we're scaling up by a scale factor of three. So they're going to take each of these sides and multiply by three. So here we're going to have start with a three by six. And again, shade it in, choose any color they like. Do the same thing. They can only shade in a rectangle at a time. So they are here they have a scaled up figure by a scale factor of three. Now we want to look at the perimeter again. With the smaller figure, if they count around the outside, they should get 10 units again. The larger figure, if we multiply by three, should be 30 units. And you can have the students check and see if that's correct. Now the next figure is a little bit more difficult. Uh, with my students, I would start this figure and then have them finish on their own. So here we're scaling up by a scale factor of three. And it's going to look something like this. Students sometimes struggle with this one. But again, start it and then let them finish it. And here we're going to look at the perimeter again, and they're going to see that they also multiply by three. Now, the next slide is just a recap. So when the scale factor is two, the perimeter of the new figure is two. They're just going to type in TWO, two times the perimeter of the smaller figure. When the scale factor is three, the perimeter of the new figure is three times the perimeter of the smaller figure. Now we're going to move on to a scale factor that's a fraction less than one. So when the scale factor is a fraction less than one, we're going to be scaling down. So here, we're going to be multiplying each of the sides by one half or dividing by two. So again, they can only, they can only highlight just a rectangle at a time. So there are a few more steps with this one. I'm going to leave that middle square open. Okay, now we've scaled down by a scale factor of one half. Now the next one's a little bit difficult, so you, you want to do this one or start it with the students. So this one we have an arrow shape and we're going to be scaling down 
by a scale factor of one half. Now these diagonal pieces are going to be a little bit difficult, so you want to save those for last. So if we start at the bottom, and that bottom measurement is four units, if we divide by two, it will now be two units. And they want to play around with this, so they just click and hold on these pieces and they can move them into place. And then these little blue circles at the end, they can just click and hold and they can move them where they like. And these sides are going to be scaled down from four to two. And students probably want to play around with this a little bit to, to get the hang of this. Now these pieces here are two units, so if we divide by two, it's now one unit. Same thing on the other side. Now to get the diagonal pieces, what you want to do is you want to look at this point at the top. So you can see if you count from the bottom, it's eight units. So if we divide by two, it'll now be four units from the bottom, one, two, three, four. So we know that the point of that arrow will be right here. And we just want to connect these two points. And there we have the arrow shape. It's a little bit skewed, but it's, it takes some practice. So we have a scaled down arrow by scale factor of one half. Now the next thing we want to look at is the area. So something different happens to the area. Here we have a uh, square that looks more rectangular, but it's a square, three by three. And so if we scale up by a scale factor of two, we're going to have a six by six square. So they want to go ahead and show the six by six. Again, color it in. Now if we look at the area, length times width, we're going to get three times three, or nine square units. A six by six will then be 36 square units. Now we don't multiply by the scale factor, but we multiply by the scale factor squared. So 2 squared would be 4. If I multiply 9 times 4, I get 36. They're going to do the same thing on the next figure, scaled up by a scale factor of 3, and then look and see what happens to the area. And then slide 12 is just a recap. When the scale factor is, and they're just going to type in 2 again, the area of the new figure is 2 squared, or 4 times the area of the smaller figure. When the scale factor is 3, the area of the new figure is 3 squared, or 9 times the area of the smaller figure. And then the final slide has some drag and drop vocabulary. So they're just going to click and hold on the edge of any of these terms and place them in the correct place. So a scale drawing, is click and hold on the edge, move it into place, is a drawing which is increased or decreased in size by a fixed ratio. And they can refer back to the vocabulary slide if they need to. And so they're going to put all of these in the correct place. And then they get a little nice work when they're finished at the end. So this is a digital lesson, scale drawings, the Halloween version.